We're trying every product in the June 2023 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to the June 2023 edition of Smash the Crate, the monthly series where me and my husband and mother try every item in this month's Keto Crate. Stick around to the end to see if you were the winner of this month's Keto Crate, or if you don't want to leave it up to chance, you can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first crate. Let's hop into it. Okay, first thing. Okay, so unfortunately this crate did have some items that we're not gonna be able to try. Um, yeah, no, well, number one being like keto cake box mix. Like we didn't, we don't have the time. We don't have the ingredients. Yeah, like mom, you can have this. I mean, the pictures look delicious. It's packaging. Yeah, it's made with um, coconut flour and erythritol. So like, yeah, you can see it. So like ingredients, good. Richard, Richard, no. But so unfortunately we can't try that. Um, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Have you made this? Did you like it? How does it compare to other cake mixes? Cause like I haven't had cake mixes in a really long oh, time, right? So know. let me know. Good to see you, King Arthur. There you, you know go, mom. What? I haven't had cake mixes in a while either. What? You gave me a, a Memory, exactly. Okay, number two. <laughs> Something we're not gonna be able to try as prepared. Chef's kiss. Lupin oh, flour rotini. Oh, so it's pasta. Oh, now this but is, but this now is we are going to open it because I want to see what it looks like. I, yes. I told everyone we would show them what it looks well, like, even though we can't bowl it. Plans for this. Yes, yeah. and I can't wait after he no. prepares a meal. And he has the plans, exactly. Oh, oh like wow. Oh, no, it's yeah. rotini though. Yeah, yeah, okay, like, like these look really nice. Uh, these look, look like, like typical. Pasta, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Nice. Okay. What is the ingredients? What's that don't taste Lord bad. Jesus. What is the, and what is the ingredients? Okay. I mean, that tastes like dry pasta. Yes. No, duh. Hey, no, no, no. What the heck your teeth made out of? Okay. Lupin flour, xanthan gum. So, the end. Lupin yeah. flour yeah. is a flour made of crushed up lupini beans. Mm -hmm. Like, lupini is a type of bean. Crush that up, mix it with xanthan yes, yes. gum. Send it through some sort of spiral yes. extruder. There you go. Like now, my, wife my only thing would be, my only thing would be, how does this stand up to water? Like, does it like completely like just fall apart? Yeah. Does it give you I wouldn't think so. like the consistency feels pretty stained? It does feel very yeah. similar to dried pasta. I'm giving it a tier one and a half. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely a tier one to me. I'm like, like I said, it looks beautiful. Like I said, I don't like. Pasta wasn't something that I was looking to replace on my keto journey. Mm -hmm. So, I like pasta. Might so a, I'm okay without it. Mm -hmm. type of sauce or something. Okay. Doing too much. No, too much. Moving on. Okay, so those are the items that we could not try. Honorable mentions, if you will. But let us know down in the comments below. Have you had the cake or the pasta? I mean, that's really interesting. That is some new and interesting stuff right there. Okay, but now we're diving into the items that we can try. First being Southern Aww. Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. This is the sea salt and cracked black pepper. As we spoke about, I we've had these pork oh, rinds plenty of times. Yeah. This is my favorite flavor because, you know, Southern Recipe Small Batch be having some really interesting flavors. Mm -hmm. Um, Korean kimchi. I mean, like, so it makes no sense. No, I don't think it was, it, no, jalapeno cheddar was a little too normal. I just remember all of them being very, like a chili very lime very sort of very situation. Very My first introduction to this is when you did that TV segment. Yeah, oh, you yeah. guys, I was on the news um, talking about Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds and I was like, bloop, I already, no need to feed me any facts or information. I can speak off the dome because I actually love these things. So, okay, very salty. You can see the flecks of pepper. Okay, let's go. Oh my God. Right. I haven't had a pork rind in a very long time. Me mm. It's more peppery, not as salty as I would like. I did yesterday. Yeah. I mean, tier two. Mm -hmm. Savory dishes aren't quite my favorite, so. 
I mean, it's peppery, so it's spicy, and mm. I'm a spice wuss. Yeah. 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 To, you know, mm. <laughs> some of them. She who shall not be named. Your yeah. taste buds? Yeah. I mean, yeah, tier two. I tier definitely one. pork and good is my favorite pork rind, mm -hmm. you know, brand. The salted butter is my favorite. And so, like, those will definitely do. And plus the fact that you can get those at the store, always make it better. Yes. You know, instead of having to order online, I'm a fan. I mm. love the pepperiness. My mouth. I'm going one. Just Dude. the right bite. I get marks. And, big and water break. Because it's too peppery. But well, just, not only that, I just had that dry pasta, mm -hmm. then I had a dry pork rind, and I was like, ooh, too. I'm porched, that you know? True. But you know what else might quench my thirst? Oh, Some su supernatural healthy soda. Oh, it is just the cola which flavor. Which I was going to say, which flavor is this? So, yeah. So it's not Dr. Best. It's not Dr. Best. It's not Mountain Best yes. or what? Best Mountain. Yes. It is just Where cola. Where do I need a cup? Where it do I get one? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so definitely has caramel color, oh, so there is some that. coloring involved. That's like a ginger, a ginger ale, maybe? Yeah, it's not definitely not as dark as regular soda. Um, also, the sweetener in here mm -hmm. is erythritol. Ooh. Oh, oh look, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a, a good, yeah. yeah. Okay, like 11, 11 grams of erythritol. It's like, ooh, that's mm. a lot of sweetener yeah. right there, so. Okay, so it is definitely yeah. like a pale soda. Yeah, so okay. caramel-ish Okay, let's go. Like it's not bad, but yeah. it's like it is by no means the first soda I'm reaching no. for, which makes it a tier three. Speaking of that, nice. let's tell you our tiering system. Tier number one, we go from first to worst. Tier number one is I love this. This tastes delicious. I have had it, or uh, or I have bought it, or will buy it with my own money. Tier number two is like mm, that tastes really good. I might not buy it with my own money, but I would definitely be happy to see it if received for free. Tier number three is like mm, don't love it don't hate it like i'm not throwing it away but like it's definitely not the first thing i'm reaching for when i want a snack of this type mm -hmm. and tier number four is icky yucky i hate the flavor of this i would not accept it if given for free i would give it away it's just not my jam this does not taste bad it tastes like a flat cola to me it's just so you like flat cola so many gulping so noises why, <laughs> so that's why it's a three no yes. like it doesn't taste I'm flat it it's like the, like a, the like, flavor yeah. is weird not it doesn't weird. pack the punch it's with like a carbonation it's more like a cross between cola like and ginger ale yeah it's just like i mean there's nothing wrong with it i mean here's my whole thing if i was at keto con and they had like an ice chest full of these. Mm. You be, I would pick it out. I mean, I would pick this out. Like no problem at all, or right? Or on a trail somewhere. And it's... So like, it, like it wasn't bad at all. But like with the plethora of other uh, yes. sodas we have yes. on the market yeah. and, and access to at this point, that flavor is oh, just I not mean, my favorite. Okay, I get you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I concur. Okay, next, yeah, um, I was worried that we had moved on to the sweet things mm -hmm. too soon, but we haven't because the pork rinds were the only uh, savory thing in there and the pasta that unfortunately we couldn't try. We work on our meat sticks. Okay, I know, right? Come on, come on, uh, Keto Crate. Let's let's forge some better relationship, you know, some relationships with some meat stick people. Here, again, though, third time's the charm. Super oh, fat. I love those. Yeah, peanut butter bites. They they make my mouth so dry. Like, Never I mean, mind. these are the ones that, that were like the peanut butter mounds. I know, that's why we have oh, the goodness. water. Let's see what they look like. Oh, gosh. I did that thing where I tore the oh, perforation, no, but it didn't no. quite. I got, nails. I got scissors. Wonderful. Thank you. I did them. I did them myself. Ooh. So, okay. What? No. Oh my gosh, my husband is over here showing off for y'all. We go, boop, we're going to have to cut that part out. <laughs> like, that's a blooper. Like, y'all can't see him utilizing his strunts like that. Like, I don't like it. Okay, so per the last two months, they are the chocolate, the peanut butter chocolate chip mounds. Like, the really thickums, you know. I'm here for that. And so, at least there is consistency in that respect. So, I'm, I'm just going to take a little mound because I've had a lot of these. Here we go. 
Is it sprays in your mouth Great. like a disease? <laughs> <laughs> Not like a disease. Why are you the way I take it back. I mean, the flavor is good, but like just one of those is just yeah. enough. Like it's so much peanut butter. Mm. Like a peanut butter bomb. Of disease. Those taste good. You get the peanut butter, you get the chocolate chip. Yeah. I mean, but boy, that is a tough, yeah. that is a tough it's eating a, it's experience. It's an intense too. situation, but Woo. you definitely are getting the flavors that it says on the back. If you want to get your water in, you want to get thirsty, <laughs> have one of those, have, one have a gallon of water. water. Have one of those, have a gallon of water. Like, woo. Um, I don't know what I gave it the last two times. Like, at this point, I'm giving it a tier two. Like, I mean, it's, oh, yeah. I'll be happy to see it, but like, I'm maybe tier two, two and a half. I mean, like, the flavor is good, but it's so heavy. Yeah. So, I'm magic with the two yeah. Well. Happy to see it. Woo! Okay, next. All right. Snack house keto cereal mini swirls. Snack house. Yeah. So yeah, we've have a seen of lots of different flavors. So this one is cinnamon. Did they get keto cards? No, they were not a keto card. Mm, I keep trying to get them a keto palooza. Come on now, I'm looking oh, at you. They're wonderful. So this is like protein puff balls. Let's see what this flavor is all about. I'm expecting. Oh, that's a cluster. <laughs> that's, oh, dang. That's, a cluster. that's a that's a molecule yeah, no, right there. <laughs> Amoeba. Okay, it's very um, cinnamon toast crunchy. Look looks like. This. Okay, looks same. Are you ready? It's <laughs> mm. a very light cinnamon flavor. Well, it's got the crunch part. It's, it's very, very subtle, sweet. Very subtle. Yeah. I mean, the cinnamon. I it's, it's mostly sweet, and a hint of cinnamon. Yeah. Like. I say it's toasted. It's not bad. Toast crunch. Two and a half. No. Mm -hmm. Two point two five. Lord. I would say two and a half as well. Yeah, I mean like it's right in that middle part. I would like there to be more cinnamon in order for it to say cinnamon swirl. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like that would definitely change the flavor of the milk. Like it seems like all the flavoring would like go into the milk and make it taste delicious. But it was just sweet forward yes. with a hint of cinnamon. Not bad. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Keto Farms Butter Toffee Peanuts. Oh my goodness. Now we haven't had. Doesn't sound it quite bad. No, good. yeah, it doesn't sound bad at all. Like, I love me dangerous. a crunchy nut, so we're going to. Let's see what this is. Oh, they're very. I don't know. Cr well, like coated. Mm. Well, it's not so much dust. It's like dried on. Yeah. It's oh, like a candy. Praline. Mm. They're very praline yeah, to candy butter toffee peanuts. So. Yeah. I mean, these look like these could make a really nice granola. You know, yeah. like if you mix them with some right, like right cranberries and some almonds and stuff. Okay, mix. let's. Oh Lord. Okay, let's go. Well, I like it. Mm. I'm here for it. These actually taste just like honey roasted mm. nuts. Mm. This is one for me, dog. Yep. Oh Lord. Those are delicious. Delicious. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Those taste just like butter, or not butter, it's called butter toffee, but they taste like honey roasted peanuts that you would get from the in, can in the yeah. store. Yeah, or you know, like in um, some fiddle battle. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's making up words over there. <laughs> that's, no, that's a real thing. This fiddle battle was like, what is fiddle battle and the other name for it? Say in the comments, like have you never heard of fiddle faddle? People have heard of fiddle faddle. Oh, but this kind of gives you like, like mall or like fair a roasted there. peanut mm -hmm. you know yeah. vibes like i mean this is this is really good so that's a tier one okay penultimately monk pack oh wow it's a classic monk pack oh, almond butter cocoa chip i mean okay. look at that look at this it's just what we expect like it's just amazing Sounds every single time like it looks yeah. Yeah. Monk pack, you know. Y'all y'all know what y'all do. Yeah. We already know. Okay. Look, I mean it looks like oats. It just, yeah, go okay, we're biting. We're biting. Like it would, Three. It would go perfect with coffee. Hey. Oh my god. Even he thinks mm -hmm. like that. It tastes so good. Oh, what are the little oat like things? Um, Deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Almonds, allulose, mm-hmm. Almond butter. Like coconut, mm -hmm. sunflower seeds, mm -hmm. soluble tapioca fiber. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very seed and fibery. Like, and then when you just jumble all that together, it can like and glaze it in something. You make it look like oats, you know? Like, mm. Mm -hmm. but the taste of that. I like where this is going. It's just so good. It's a one for me again. Mm. Finally, the product that I'm most excited about. Save the best for last. Okay, here we go. 
Durham. High Durham. key sandwich cookies. Uh, Hi, high key. I know, right? So I talked about how behind our eyes. I talked about how the last time um we had like the only time we've seen sandwich cookies are Catalina Crunch. Right. So right. let's see what high key is working right. with. You're absolutely correct. Okay. This is a first a little sleeve. Uh oh, right. Okay. Sleeve. Oh, oh man, it came, it, 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 so it, it, it broke hey, the boat. Hey, like the sleeve ain't good enough. Yeah. yeah. The sleeve um, was overwhelmed. These with all look, the flavor. These look great. They're a little bit crushed. I don't I don't quite know if the sleeve is like the the strongest mm -hmm. way to um okay. Hide, man, hide man, the strength is the strongest way to uh package these, but I mean they look good. Okay, so I'm gonna try it first, like as the whole cookie, and then I'm gonna see if it, if I can do a twist. Oh, okay, goodness. see the sleeve, the boat just you know like the boat oh, roll capsized, if you will. It so. worked. Did it work? Okay, excellent. All right, one, two, three. Mmm. That's why I don't do that. Oh my god. So this is Oreo texture, like, mmm, -hmm. mm. and very close to flavor. Mm -hmm. So the difference, the difference with the Catalina Crunch was that that was a very thick cookie. You mm -hmm. know, it was very short, like, oh, hold on. Oh, Lord. Yeah. This like kind of disintegrates like an Oreo. Mm -hmm. You know, like the other one was just like a very sturdy cookie. Yes, you know? I'm with you on that. This is a lot more wafery mm -hmm. and, oh man, yeah. Uh-oh. And the taste, yeah, it's just a more of that like burnt cocoa. Do you do a twist. You did it twists like right a mofo. Thank you didn't do it. It twists like a mofo. Yeah, look at that. Look how mm. easy that was. Mm, okay. Mm. And it tastes, I mean, the filling tastes very Oreo esque. Oh, I mean, Here high key. Let's go down this I'm gonna give high key a high five. Get your get your boat together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Let's but work on the, you know, ship lab. Might, might have bumped into but something. The, the flavor's strong. Yeah. Yeah. High mm. key gets a high five. That's a tier one. Yeah. That's a tier will, that's a tier will, point five. I will yeah. concur. She oh. did the dog tier one thing. for the finish. Mm -hmm. mm, that was yeah, amazing. Was okay, well, I mean, do you know who I want? to know if they think that these taste like just like Oreos. That is the winner, the winner of this month's Keto Crate. And that person is, <laughs> you don't want you some Oreos. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so send me an email to watchautumnketo at gmail.com. Uh, and yeah, with your with your address information and I will forward that to the folks at Keto Crate. I mean, this is a good one. I, I mean, like it's like it's a lot of like things that cost a lot of money like some full retail value things yeah. like pasta we got oh. a box cake mix we have a soda like there's just so many things in here so yeah that i really really <laughs> no that i really enjoy uh and i'm excited for you to enjoy it as well but like if you didn't win don't worry because you could still click the link in the description to get a discount on your very first keto crate I mean, this is this was a good one. Like, I I'm very yeah, I'm very pleased. The keto crate does not disappoint, and we'll see you next month. Bye. Bye. Bye Why do you match my tone? Why do you? Is it? It's fine. No, no. We've Why returned to the trail. I, was just I don't want you to harmonize. <laughs> I was gonna say no, no, I take that back. You cannot don't harmonize. <laughs> Between no. the two of you. What? With the pointing? No, okay. Can I do it again. No! Yeah. Love ya. That was a body good. Yeah. Well.